after shedding more than six stone between them, and they're looking very good. Very true. I say, the hairy bikers are back. This time they've gone meat free. And so this is because you still eat your pies and things occasionally, don't you? You do like yeah, the meat yeah, of course we do. Yeah, yeah. Of course we do. it was just about a couple of years ago. I've been growing loads of my own veg, appreciating the veg more. You've been staying in Italy loads. Mm -hmm. And we got together and we, 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 you know, we always go, what do you have to eat? And we're eating so much more veg. Yeah. Mm. And trying to get more interesting vegetables. So was it a recipes. gradual cut down of red meat? Well, well it, do you know what, uh, Philip? It just happened quite naturally, to be honest, because I just said to Dave when we were on the phone chatting yeah. about food, I goes, yeah, dude, listen, I haven't, had anything, I haven't had any meat at all, not even fish, for a month. And all the kids were over, as they were mm. at Dave's place, and he goes, yeah, I've just been feeding the kids loads of veggie stuff because the vegetarian food was and, and the vegetables were so good and of great yeah. quality where we we were so and it just kind of happened naturally and we just thought let's write a book and um, so. and i've just been looking through the book and actually what is lovely about it is that i mean i'm a meat eater there's no yes. doubt oh, about yeah, well, it. So i love that we. and i love the comfort sort of big comfort food stews and things like that and the first thing that you mind was like this mushroom bourguignon and you look at it and you go yeah that kind of gives me that same scrumptious yummy because yeah. i think that's the fear you think oh but i need where's the meat it's well, missing something whereas it doesn't look like that to me no that's that that's really true and we've tried to be very conscious of that because um what we wanted to do was have a veggie book for meat eaters as well as vegetarians yeah. which is i know that sounds a bit odd yeah. but i think we've kind of succeeded a little yeah bit. we haven't got stuck on kind of meat substitutes either no. or the default setting of covering everything in cheese we wanted the textures and colors <clears throat> there of a proper dinner yeah. and mm. it, almost by default when we did the calorie counts, they did fall into healthy eating. Yeah, yeah, That's good. what we're going to cook now is about 370 calories for your dinner. Which is great. Yeah. This is the book here that we're talking about, The Hairy Dieters Go Veggie. So there you go. And we're going to cook something delicious now. So what are we cooking? 